Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. Well, it's a damp start to our Monday morning and conditions right now will look much different than what it will be later on tonight. Appleton rainy and 37 degrees on our Skyview Network cameras powered by Pella windows and doors of Wisconsin. Too warm yet to produce any widespread snow. So I think for your morning, the road conditions, just like what you're seeing right here, kind of a rainy mix out there. So not too terrible just yet. At noon, that's when it starts to turn a little bit more snowy. Road conditions will be uh, probably deteriorating a little bit more through the midday hours. And then really tonight, we got a red light here as travel will worsen. And it's probably during your commute home from work today that uh, the snow will be at its heaviest. So let's talk about right now. Again, mainly rain right now from the north uh, down to the south. So you can see Green Bay raining, Oshkosh raining, Appleton raining, Lakeshore all rain there. A little wet snow mixing into the southern spots by Fond du Lac in southern Winnebago County and over to Rhinelander, let's say west of Goodman up north by Highway 8. A little wet snow there. That's where temperatures are sneaking closer to that freezing mark. You see 33 in Antigo, upper 30s to near 40 everywhere else. 33 in Watoma. So where those cooler temperatures are, again, the changeover occurs first and then it'll start to uh, proceed elsewhere through the remainder of the day. So watch temperatures drop from the upper 30s down to about the freezing mark later on this afternoon. That's when our rain turns over to kind of a rain snow mix and then over to snow. The best chance for snow again later on. But we have a few questions yet. Question one, when does it make that changeover? Because it's going to be different for most of our communities. Not everyone's going to see that changeover at the same time. Question two is, how fast does the snow begin to stick? Because we're going to be right around the freezing mark again. So will it stick right away? The question is there. And since it's been so warm, the ground is uh, maybe melting off some of that snow initially here. So current headlines, regardless of when and where, the travel will be impacted by this. Winter weather advisory in, in purple and a winter storm warning there in pink. All these expire at midnight tonight. So from now until about midnight is when we have to be uh, watching the roads. A blizzard warning there in North Dakota. You can see what this storm is doing to all of the upper Midwest here as it rotates around, kind of spins like a top. But I'm worried about this little area of moisture right here. See all this rain here. It will continue to transition over into Wisconsin and make that transition from rain to snow. Let's go to high res future cast because you notice by the later morning that snows up north and the snow is down south. It does begin to collapse with cooler temperatures through midday. That's when that changeover occurs through the rest of the area. Snow in the afternoon and evening, I think at this time, near 4 or 5 o'clock and there on after, we'll have the heaviest of the snow. And then it begins to taper off in intensity once we head to bed tonight. And overnight, you can see light snow still. Temperatures definitely cold enough to produce snow. And by 7 o'clock tomorrow, more of those scattered flurries. So you can kind of tell by my snow forecast, I'm a little skeptical of higher snow totals, but I have about one to four through the heart of the area and over to the lake shore. It's going to be pretty scattered with snow totals throughout that area. That's why I have a very broad one to four. Up north and over to Door County, west of Wapaka, I have four to six. And far to the north, I have the best chance for over six inches, about six to ten by the Wisconsin UP border. So patchy fog is possible today, morning rain and snow, and then mainly snow for the second half of the day, the high dropping from 39. It turns windy tonight. Snow showers are expected, poor travel as well. The low down to 26 prior to our New Year's Eve. So snow ends early tomorrow. It will be a windy day, mostly cloudy, 30. And clear at night, so when the ball drops, temperatures will start to drop in the teens. A little chilly for you, Nate. Uh, Wednesday, mostly sunny, 32 for New Year's Day. Warmer on Thursday up to 39. Another chance for rain and snow will be Friday. 